what's up guys this is video I don't know how many I've made for this light and we're gonna kind of do the wham bam thank you man brief overview of this thing now that I've had it for about six weeks have been using it on the regular as well as putting it through its paces outside of regular use the Brynite Oath Keeper a lot of you have already seen the videos I've posted about this. You might have missed a couple. They're on multiple platforms. You can see this light has been quite abused. A lot more than a flashlight would see in six weeks anyway. So I took this light, I threw it in a bucket of water outside in 14 degree weather, let it sit there, survive that, no moisture in the light drug this light behind a car down gravel roads light stayed on through the whole thing and when I took it off the rope brought it inside everything on the light worked all three buttons worked still charges everything functions as it should I have hooked this to a dog toy thrown it across the yard and my dog drag it back to me I just haven't been nice to this light and it keeps on kicking so we know it can handle the abuse and that's the main thing that we need to know we've gone over functions but since this is the wham bam thank you ma'am we're going to go quickly over them and that's that we have two buttons on the tail switch this one here is momentary and on straight to turbo this one here when the lights off it's momentary strobe and when the lights on you're going to cycle through your four light modes side body switch you'll be able to turn the light on press again to cycle through your light modes double click for strobe which alternates between two different speeds and if you're in strobe and double click again you're going to get SOS which SOS is dimmer but it's meant to do that so that you can run it longer if you were to stake this and have SOS running you want it to run as long as possible and I did stake this out on the property and drove about 150, 200 yards away. And I could see this thing bright and clear. So it does have distance even at a lower lumen. What's this light really good for and who's it good for? Well, we can take this off to get rid of some bulk if you don't like that. We've covered that in other videos. Slim it down a little bit. This is still too big for your pocket. So it's not a great everyday carry light unless you like using a sheath on your belt in which case that'd be great for you everyday carry because we know it takes a beating for me i don't like using this so this isn't your everyday carry light for me i'm going to grab this when i'm going out and doing specific things where i need the power that this light has or the durability if i'm going out to the field which is mainly where i used it i'll grab this light i don't care throwing this in my pack or anything like that it's no problem this is a great light to keep for your camping stuff throw it in your camping bag if you have an EDC bag that you throw in your car, this would be a good light for that. What I plan on graduating this light to now that I know it can take a beating is this is what's going to go in my plate carrier. So if you're watching this to figure out if you need this light or you want this light, there's nothing that turns me away from this light for what it is. They do make a smaller version of this that would be more pocketable. And I plan on grabbing one of those and putting it through the same test as this, if not even more. And we're going to see how that fares. But as for this light, it's a go for me. I was actually expecting these buttons to fail and stop working, dragging it and everything else. But they made it through. A lot of that is partial to this part of the back of the light, not allowing it to bang directly onto the ground. And just a note on this ring, unlike some of the other brands that make these out of plastic, this is aluminum. And it did hold up to getting drugged down the road, thrown across the yard and everything else. Plus the regular use I put this through. I've been using this out in the field, underneath machinery and everything else. I took it out camping once. Wasn't much of a camping trip, but I did take it with and I did use it. If you're looking for your next flashlight or your first good flashlight, head over to Brianite, check them out. You can see some of their other lights. I do recommend this one. You can find them on Amazon and a couple other online retailers, wherever you like to shop. See if you can find these guys. Grab one of these flashlights. You're going to be able to beat them up and they're just going to keep working. 
And that's what I want out of a light, and I'm sure that's what you want out of a light. 